Good afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> I want to thank everybody for coming out this afternoon for this very special occasion. For those who don't know me, my name is Steve Coleman. I serve as the Chief of the Auburn Fire Rescue Department uh, and very proud to do so. Uh, before we begin and, and introduce uh, some of the dignitaries and folks that we have in the room, I'd like to call up uh, to start us off our Fire Chaplain, Reverend Doug Gies, to deliver the invocation. Let's pray together. Father, we are just so grateful to be here today. We thank you for the blessings of this fire department, of those here in our community who serve us so well. We are truly a blessed people, God. And so our desire today, God, is just to pass that blessing on to those who have so well served us in the past. May uh, you smile down upon this occasion right now. May, you, may your very presence be here in this room, we pray. We are so grateful and we are so thankful for this opportunity. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Gies. I'd like to introduce uh, some of our elected and appointed officials uh, that are in the room this evening. Uh, our Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, Ken Holstrom, uh, Selectman Doreen Goodrich, uh, Denise Brotherton, our Assistant Town Manager and Chief Financial Officer, Ed Kazanovich, our Town Clerk, Deb Grimo, who will be delivering the oath of office, and last but certainly not least, our Distinguished Town Manager, Julie Jacobson. So thank you for being here, all of you. At this time, um, I would like to call up retired lieutenant from the Auburn Fire Department, now serving as a chairman of the Board of Selectmen, to say a few words, Ken Holstrom. Thank you, it's a pleasure for me to be here, and it's uh, such a great crowd for everybody to be here today, and just welcome our two new promoted officers of the fire department. After the many years I've been in the fire department, I've seen a lot of the changes and the camaraderie down there um, and the traditions. And uh, knowing these two gentlemen as I have over the course of the years, um, that tradition and that camaraderie is gonna continue. It's a great fire department, always has been. And uh, like I say, I've seen a lot of the changes. The changes have been good. The future now brings a lot more technology, a lot more training, and I've had many visits with the chief, and training is just seems to increase all the time, but uh, that makes us a better fire department. And uh, on that note, I'd like to thank and congratulate Glenn Johnson, Deputy Chief, and Justin Brigham, Captain, to the Auburn Fire Department. You'll do us justice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Holstrom. At this time, I would like to invite Town Manager Julie Jacobson. Thank you all. Uh, good afternoon. The Town of Auburn is so fortunate to have the dedicated men and women of the Auburn Fire Rescue Department as part of its team. And it's interesting, I look around the room, it's not just the members of the, of the Fire Rescue Department and those members who we're honoring today, but look around you. You see members of the Auburn Police Department. You see members from throughout Town Hall from different departments. Ed and I, we are so fortunate as Town Administration to work with all of you. I think I think Auburn has something truly unique. Uh, Lieutenant Harrigan and I were just speaking about this before we started. There aren't many communities in this Commonwealth where the police and fire department and all the town administration work so well together. It's mutual respect and mutual admiration. And I'm just very proud to be part of that. I am truly inspired every day by the level of skills, training that you mentioned, and uh, expertise that this department has. It's incredible what you've done. Every department in the Commonwealth knows what your skills are. When we call for mutual aid, which unfortunately, whether we call for it here or we're responding to mutual aid, people who work with our department, I always get comments and compliments from other town managers and other uh, elected officials who have the opportunity to work with you. We are very, very lucky to have all of you as a department. But here today, we're here for two special um, promotions, and I just want to say a couple of words. First of all, uh, Deputy Chief, it's 
good to call him that. I hope I, I don't forget and slip. Um, but Deputy Chief Glenn Johnson, I've had the pleasure and good fortune to work with him in his role, former role, as Assistant Chief. And we've had some interesting meetings, as he knows. Um, it's been uh, uh, no no pun intended, but trial by fire into some of these into some of these things that he's going to be very involved in. But. Anytime we've talked about whether it be budgets or new initiatives, Deputy Chief Johnson is always a professional. He's always patient and he's a really good communicator, which are traits that we know will serve him and the department well. I look forward to looking, uh, working with you in your new role and want to congratulate you on your, uh, on your promotion today. It's a pleasure. And Captain Justin Brigham. Again, I have had the pleasure to work with him for the last few years since I've been here, and I can say that he is a consummate professional. Every time you work with him, he is um, easy to talk to, he explains things, he, he as does Deputy Chief uh, Johnson, both have so much patience, especially when I ask all my questions because I don't know the operations and I want to understand it, and they're more than patient in explaining it to me, uh, and I really appreciate that. He, um, Captain Brigham is well-spoken and proficient in everything he does. He is really an outstanding member of the command staff and I'm sure that they're very proud to have him in this new role. So I look forward to working with both of you. Congratulations and congratulations to the families. Thank you for giving us your husband's sons, brothers, um, we are fathers. We in the uh, town administration are grateful for that. We know the commitment that you as a family make to allow these gentlemen to work for us, and it's so much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you very much, Julie. Um, I have to say thank you uh, as well uh, to the town administration, uh, the elected officials, the board of selectmen, the finance committee uh, for supporting really why we're here today. Uh, it's been uh, six years uh, since the deputy chief's position uh, was vacated when I became the chief uh, in 2011. And since the day the town manager uh, got here, uh, I've been advocating to get this position back. Uh, she truly understood the need uh, and it, it took some time to get here but we're finally here uh, it's a very very important position to the department uh, deputy chief Johnson will serve as a deputy chief in charge of operations so he'll have direct oversight over all day-to-day -day operations which builds much greater consistency between the working groups and he will also serve as the department's EMS coordinator uh, handling all of the administrative aspects of EMS including our billing so he has a, a large role ahead of him. It's an important role. And I am, I'm thrilled uh, to have the position back in the command staff. Uh, and that wouldn't be possible uh, without the work of the town manager, the assistant town manager, and all of the elected officials, both on the Board of Selectmen and the Finance Committee, that heard my cries over the years. And we were all patient knowing that someday we would get to this point, and, and today we're here. But we wouldn't be here without the hard work uh, and, and, uh, and dedication that you have to not only your jobs, but to our organization. So from me to you, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. Thank you. At this time, I would like to call up our town clerk, Deb Grimo, to administer the oath of office. And we will first uh, be doing Captain Justin Brigham, if you would step front and center. Already <laughs> done. I'm Justin Brigham, who solemnly swear. I Justin Brigham, who solemnly swear. And affirm that I will be a true faith. And affirm that I will be a true faith. And allegiance to the town of Auburn. And allegiance to the town of Auburn. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And will support the Constitution of the United States. And will support the Constitution of the United States. They are up, so help me God. They are up, so help me God. I just want to bring them. I just want to bring them. You saw them swear. You saw them swear. And affirm that I will faithfully and impartially. To affirm that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As captain of the fire department. As captain of the fire department. Of 
according to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. And understanding. And understanding. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Of the town of Auburn. To the town of Auburn. The Constitution and the laws of the Commonwealth. The Constitution and the laws of the Commonwealth. So help me God. So help me God. At this time, I would like to introduce uh, to pin uh, Captain Brigham's badge on uh, retired Deputy Chief from the Sutton Fire Department and the father of Captain Brigham, uh, Mark Brigham. Deputy Chief Johnson. I, Glenn Johnson. I, Glenn Johnson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I will be of true faith. I will be of true faith. And allegiance to the town of Auburn. And allegiance to the town of Auburn. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And will support the Constitution thereof. And will support the Constitution thereof. I, Glenn Johnson. I, Glenn Johnson, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially, affirm I will faithfully and impartially, discharge and perform, discharge and perform, all the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties incumbent upon me, as Deputy Chief of the Fire Department, as Deputy Chief of the Fire Department, according to the best of my abilities, according to the best of my abilities, and understanding, and understanding. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Of the town of Auburn. Of the town of Auburn. And the Constitution and laws. And the Constitution and laws. Of the Commonwealth. So help me God. Of the Commonwealth. So help me God. This time I would like to invite Deputy Chief Johnson's son, Christian, to pin his badge on him. Congratulations again to the both of you. As I mentioned in the beginning, I'm extremely privileged to have the opportunity to lead this department and the men and women uh, that work for it. I truly believe that uh, there is no fire department in the Commonwealth uh, that puts in the amount of time and effort in training and making sure that our operation is tight and that we are ready to respond to the community every day. And I'm extremely proud of all of the members of our organization. Uh, but for today, specifically, uh, the efforts of these two gentlemen uh, that have, will rise through the ranks in our command staff. I want to end today with a quote uh, from Chris Hadfield on leadership. And I truly believe that these two members uh, embody this quote. Ultimately, leadership is not about glorious crowning acts. It's about keeping your team focused on a goal and motivated to do the best to achieve it, especially when the stakes are high and the consequences really matter. It is about laying the groundwork for others' success and then standing back and letting them shine. Again, I truly believe that that's what these two fire officers have done, uh, not only in their careers, but will continue to do moving forward. 
So again, I thank all of you for coming out this afternoon and being part of this wonderful day. Uh, please stick around and uh, say hello to everybody. And that concludes our ceremony for today. Thank you very much.